It's Christina from Creations with Christina, and today we're working on a card using the um, Cricut Cartridge Songbird. And I cut out the bird in the cage, which is located on page 39, in the um, blackout feature, the shadow feature, and then the actual uh, image. And I cut these at four inches. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what we're going to do is um, I'm starting with um, this is paper tray ink uh, cardstock, and it's cut at uh, four and a quarter by 11. And I'm just going to use my score pal here to create my score line at five and a half inches. Get this out of the way. Oops. All right. There we go. And um, first thing I'm going to do is add my layer. And this layer, this is actually um, Daisy Bucket cardstock or pattern paper that I got at my local scrapbook store and it's cut at four inches by five and a quarter so we're going to go ahead and adhere this down and I'm just going to use some mono adhesive I love this pattern paper it's almost like a it's got a nice texture it's almost kind of I don't know it reminds me of wallpaper for some reason the texture of it so we're just going to center this Okay, there we go. And now I have a piece of um, another piece of my pattern paper, but I'm going to use the opposite side. And this is basil cardstock, and I'm just going to adhere this right onto that piece of basil. And I don't remember the measures, measurements of this, but I will put it on the bottom of the screen for you. And I'm just going to trim this down to four inches. Okay, so that way it fits right across the center there. And what I'm going to do is add some paper tray ink cards or ribbon. This is their satin ribbon, and it's raspberry fizz. So I'm just going to cut off a piece long enough here so I could tie a knot. Actually, I want this on the other side, so I'm just going to move that over and tighten this up a little bit. And we'll trim our tails here, and I like to trim at an angle. And then this is going to get adhered with pop dots or dimensionals. And let's see, I'm running out on, on here, so I'm just going to trim off some of the edges here. Got little tiny pieces. get centered right in the middle of my card just like that okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and put together this is our my bird bird cage here and I'm just gonna go ahead and let me grab a piece of uh, scrap paper this is just a piece of scrap paper I was gonna use this but then changed my mind and this is just a two-way glue now I don't normally add, I'm not going to add it on this one, but uh, sentiments to my, my cards because I like to wait until it's time to give it to somebody um, and then I can add whatever sentiment I want for the occasion. So we'll just add that right onto there. And then I'm going to use more pop dots and add that right to here. So I'm going to actually add them to the top 
and let's see, I don't know if this will fit. Oh, need to trim it down just a little bit. And the bottom, because the center of the, oops, the center of the uh, bird cage will be on the center of this. So what I'm going to do is add some just mono adhesive on there. Just add that right there. So there we go. Nice simple card using the uh, Cricut Songbird cartridge. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. See you next time. Bye.